Hey guys, it's me again, PC7463. Uh, still working on the John Deere here. Uh, trying to get this stupid motor to work. Uh, cannot for the life of me figure out why it doesn't have spark. Uh, watching a bunch of videos on YouTube and found out that inside of here there are points. My points were filthy, so I had to clean them. Cleaned them. I had just reset this entire assembly to the correct one. I do not know if this system is bad yet. Um, it's passed every test that I've done that I was shown. This, on the other hand, this piece right here, this cap. Oh crap, where'd I put the old one? Here it is. This thing is the old cap. That's garbage. Didn't work. So. Maybe this one will. Um, to test spark, I made this. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, all it is, is it is a end cap for PVC. It's one inch. These are obviously just screws. 26, this is, the PVC is a dollar. These screws are 80, or 28 cents a piece. And this little clamp it's just a wire clamp. This is three dollars for two. This whole little assembly is a spark gap tester. You now you got the gap there, right in there, and if your system is working correctly, it will spark against across that. I found different kinds of these. They're like five, ten bucks. You know, I I don't like the way they're put together. Uh, they keep breaking on me, so I have to put this thing together. Um, if I can get, if I cannot get spark after this, I am ditching this motor. I'm not wasting any more time with it. Um, I mean that that just means that this is dead, and I'm not. This piece is five dollars. So so far, this engine has cost me five dollars in parts to try to get working again. This I am not counting because this is just a tool that I'm going to use for multiple engines. I can always reuse this. So, here's the deal. If this engine doesn't produce a spark, let me walk around the Gilson, my kid's stroller. There is my grandmother's, my deceased grandmother's puzzle on more. I'm gonna walk around it so you guys can see it a little bit better. This is a Briggs and Strand. So I know everything about them that I can. It's a yard machine, three and a half horsepower. So this engine will be half the strength of the original, but I know this motor works. So this engine will be coming off, stripped down to everything I need it to, and we'll be going on there. And then I will be, once I get that dry, once I get the engine in, the whole drive system reconnected, I will be testing the transmission, make sure the transmission works. If the transmission works, that's great. I also found something else out. If you guys watched, I was building the mini bike, all that failed. That is the back tire to the mini bike. Let me get that out of the way. It is a five bolt hub. Now, I've always been trying to figure out how to measure five bolt hubs. Uh, I was told that you measure from here to here. I measured that and I was really hoping to put car tires on the back of the Gilson because they're cheaper. Well, I can't figure out the bolt pattern. This, uh, here, let me get this. Oh my God, that thing's heavy. This is the flange that bolts to this tire with the bolt pattern on it. This was the drive system for the mini bike. Thank God we disassembled it. Because I welded this hub to a piece of plumbing pipe. And that weld is horrible. It's all splattered. But then that pipe welds onto that gear. And that's the drive system. So I'm really glad that the mini bike failed. But if you can tell. that bolts on. Now, 
I don't know how well I'll be able to see, show you this. But this tire is also a five bolt hub. Oh, sorry, camera upside down. <laughs> but God, I gotta learn how to hold the camera. Let's see if I can line this up. That's lined up, and so is that. And so is that, which you can't really see. So the plan is, when we get start building for go kart, I will get another one of those tires to replace these back tires, since it's not. They are. Oh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. All right, there we go. These tires, the new ones, will be wider, obviously. And, extension cords. And obviously, they're bigger. So, bigger back tires, all that, that'll be great. So, still not wasting any time with this yet. I don't want to do anything to it until we get the engine. Um, might as well open it. If I have to take the other motor and drop it in, I will. So, I hope I don't have to do that though. I hope I can get this 7 horse working so I can have more power. Alright, talk to you guys later. I'll make another video in a few minutes after I can test the spark. Alright, or I'll just make one tomorrow. Talk to you guys later.